Right, so here we are again. Um, tonight, we're going to do a bit of an experiment with Daisy on the left and Claudia, the gypsy girl on the right. Before we start the experiment, I will, however, give you a bit of information about Claudia that we had happen the other night. Um, so, the previous owner said that she'd get a very thick feeling when handling Claudia. Now, she also has said to us that she got the sick feeling when she watched the unboxing of Claudia. Now, we thought we'd do a bit of an experiment. We put her up into our bedroom um, two nights ago um, to see what happened. I went to work in the morning, it was fine, slept through, no problems at all. I came home and Amy was complaining not feeling very well, feeling very drained and a bit, bit sicky, like it's the sick feeling would come in um, waves throughout the day. We didn't think anything of it until we remembered that we had Claudia in our room the whole night previous. Now, this next night, Amy slept through, she's fine this morning, it was a bit out of the blue. Now, of course, this could be just down to her being poorly, of course. However, it is a little bit of a coincidence that Claudia was in the room the, the night before she, uh, Amy obviously started feeling ill. Uh, we will be testing this again though. Uh, we will be putting it in our room again to see if it is uh, making her feel poorly. And we, I'm starting to think that maybe she's just affecting females uh, as, as I've had no negative feelings off her whatsoever yet. But we'll see. But anyway, tonight. Tonight, say we're going to do a bit of an experiment with, with these two. On the end, we've got the REM pod there. As you can tell, you can see his paws will light up. If he can sense anything, he's going to sit on the end. Very sensitive little bear. Middle, we've got a K2 meter. Again, thinking of electromagnetic fields. In front of the K2, it's not on at the moment, but we've got an EM pump. Now this will pump out a electromagnetic field. Hopefully the spirits can absorb that energy and use it to manifest, make noises, move objects, um, which brings on nicely to the little cat ball. You've only seen this cat ball many times. Unfortunately, we haven't had it moving yet. Hopefully tonight will be the night. That will be sat in front. The candle's only for the moment, so I can see what I'm doing because it is pitch black without the candle. Um, so I obviously I need to go see what I'm doing. On the left here we've got the male meter, sitting at 20 degrees at the moment. There's no milligal spikes, and obviously it's got the REM pod on it that's on at the moment. The I will say about the milligals the other night I, I did a quick test the night that the, these two dogs came to us. Unfortunately I didn't get it on camera, but I was walking around with the mil, with the male meter just giving it tests. We've never had any spikes in our house. In the doorway to the room next door, I got a quite a high spike of um, five to six milligrams, and then it went down to two and then went back up. I tested it again afterwards to see if I was in any electronic devices, any wires in the wall, and the reading completely disappeared. It didn't come back. It wasn't any electric, so what it was, I couldn't tell you. Um, it could have been paranormal. As, it, as because it was free floating in the middle of the air and it didn't return, so it's a bit unusual. And also tonight we're going to be doing a little bit of spirit box, uh, with spirit box here, and a quick EVP birth session. Now I've done EVPs before many times in our house. We had a few results when we leave it running, but nothing conclusive yet in our house. Um, hopefully tonight again will be the night. So. I'm just going to start off, I'm just going to say, Daisy, Claudia, if you're here with us tonight, um, please could you make a noise for us, try and move something. You knock on the wall, on the dresser. Don't be afraid to come forward, we only want to communicate with you. We mean you 
no harm whatsoever. Can we come towards the candle? See the light of the candle? Can you make the candle flicker for us? Show us your presence, please. Daisy, are you here with us? Swear I just heard. I don't know if it was caught on camera or after. Um, um, mark that and rewind it. I heard um, a girl talking really, really faint in my right ear, maybe an outside. I don't know. I don't think there is anybody outside this time of night. Um, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, Amy's behind the camera. You didn't hear anything either. No. I swear I heard something. If that was you making that noise, could you? I heard your voice. Could you do it again for me, please? Might be a good time to put your mic on. Mm. Right, we'll try it quick. I won't replay it while we're on camera. I'll, I'll just do a quick burst session to see what we can pick up. Now we're going to do a quick EVP burst session. Uh, we won't replay it on the camera, it will take too long, but I'll do a quick 30 second burst. Hopefully we can capture the voice that I may have just potentially heard. So I'm going to hold this dead still, you'll be able to see, you'll see me holding it dead still. And we're recording. Daisy, Claudia, if you're there, could you come forward towards this recorder in my hand, please, and speak as clearly as you can and loudly as you can? Could you say hello for us, please? Could you speak your name into the recorder, please? Could you tell me how old you are? You like being here in this house with us? What was that there? First one saved. A quick spirit box and I'll come back to this call, I think. Mm -hmm. Um so you get communication. So Enter to Bluetooth. Enter radio. Enter off in play in.
Are there any spirit stealers in this room? Two. Two. Very good. Could you tell me your name, please? Claudia, are you here with us? Claudia, are you here with us? Daisy, are you here? Your name, please. Hi. Hi. Real clear. Hi. Hi, that's very good. Thank you. Could you tell me how old you are? What's my name? How you passed away, please. Now I'm just going to put the candle out. Sometimes spirits will come forward when it's darker, but we can't see them. All we've got at the moment is the glow on the on the camera behind us. Daisy, Claudia, are you still with us? see the K2 meter going crazy because it's it's giving out like a magnetic field. Hope I'm just trying to boost the energy in the room so hopefully that the spirits can use that to talk through the white noise. You you might be able to hear it quite loud, it's not not very quiet. Um pump. 
but the radio will drown that out. I'm just going to switch it on now. And you can see immediately the K2 goes straight to the top, and even the uh, male meter is re registering 3.7 milligauss. So the moment there's a big electromagnetic field around that device, hopefully it'll help. Can you use the energy of the EM pump, please, and speak to me through the radio? How many spirits are here with us? The energy in the room, please come forward. Yeah, two and seven. Yeah, I know exactly the same. Two then seven. Two then seven. Yeah. How many dolls am I working with tonight? Seven. Well, we work with two. Two. How many dolls are in this room? Seven. Seven. That's quite a coincidence. That's the name. Could you give me your name, please? Could you say that louder, please? I didn't quite hear that. Come on, try really hard for me. So quick and so faint. Oh, sorry. Ask if it affected me. Did you affect Amy the other night? Did you make her feel ill? Come on, Claudia, I'm speaking directly to you. Did you affect Amy? Why did you make her feel sick? Would any of the other spirits like to come forward and speak to us? Lewis, Luke, Saluda, Lydia, Mary, Luke. Luke. Oh, Luke. Oh, Luke's here. I'm just going to bring Luke into the shop. See, Luke is in my hand. He's going to sit next to the radio. Luke, can you speak to me, please? so much more stronger than the others. Yeah, oh my, I'm getting the chill. I'm getting a really strong chill. Lou, how old are you? Oh my hair, seven. Please, as well as someone's life. All the hair on my life, body's chilled up. Do you like living here, Luke? Love it. I'm sure you'd love it. It's very quick. Is your brother here with you? You're doing amazing, Luke. Keep going. I heard 
Richard. Another female. Who's the female voice I'm hearing? What's your name? Did you ever say Tom? Okay. Luke, what's your brother's name? I'm not your brother, Luke. I know you're playing games. What's your brother's name? Either Ten or Ben. Um, he's so much more stronger. The energy at the moment is... He's, I can feel speaking, the energy in this room is going up and up and up. He's speaking like clear. Very clear. This, this is the clearest evidence we've ever had on this. Yeah. I just said something again. I have my hands covered. Lou, do you like to play with the dogs downstairs? Who else is here in this room with us? <laughs> Might have been Lydia, but... Confirm it. Would you confirm what you just said, please? Luke, you still there? Go on. Let's go. That's brilliant, Luke. Keep going. What's that? Like the email at the time. Mm. Do you have any message for us, Luke? Or any other spirit? Now you can tell that these are not radio voices because they're so clear and so loud and that they're over several sweeps. You can hear it. You can hear it sweeping so fast. That you can hear that over several sweeps of radio. So it, it, it's too much for it to be an actual radio station. Is that the female? Could the female come forward and say your name please? I don't know what that was, but I did not like that. Was it? I don't know. I, it was a bit, almost like a, um, like a growl. You ought to be careful. How I felt a bit negative the, to that. Um, yeah, how far we go with us. Yeah, now we don't want any negative spirits here, please. Any negative spirits who are not wanted. Please, please, still there. Play with our dogs. Mom, could you say the name of one of our dogs, please? Why do you need why do you need help? What do you need help with? Yeah. 
Yeah, I know the EM pump obviously is creating energy in the room, but it is. It's quite apparent. It is, yeah, the energy is building rapidly. Are you still there? Anybody still here with us? I've got Toulouse in my hand now. Um, hopefully she'll come forward and speak. Toulouse, are you there? Do you want to play a game, Toulouse? Play with Daisy, to your friend. I, I, I heard, I heard mother. There's two syllables I heard. What did you just say, Kaluza? Can you say it again, please? Can you say Amy's name? Can you say Amy? Yeah, okay, say it then. You say yeah. Say Amy to me, please. Let us know you're here. Loser, do you want to play a game? I do. Do you want to play hide and seek, loser? Yeah.